Meantime, an investigation has been launched at the hospital where Kate Middleton was treated for abdominal surgery, revealing a privacy breach. Let's bring in now Kinsey Schofield, live from Los Angeles. She's a Royals expert there and creator of todieforedaily.com. Kinsey, good to see you. Thanks for your time. Every day there is a new twist in this story and Americans in particular can't seem to get enough of the Princess Kate saga. You're absolutely right. We've seen a, a huge increase in America for the Google search term Kate Middleton. According to CNN, it's the number one search term right now, followed by baseball, then Donald Trump, then Joe Biden. Media-wise, according to CNBC, since January of 2024, the Princess of Wales has had over 276 thousand articles written about her compared to Joe Biden and Donald Trump, who are, you know, in a presidential race right now combined at approximately 101,000 articles. So um, much more popular than our, our political figures. Clearly, if you look at Kate Middleton tags on Instagram, it's 1.6 million. Um, and then over on TikTok, there's over 111,000 posts with 13 billion views uh, with that Kate Middleton hashtag. And, and the, they're just growing by the second due to uh, the, the chaos uh, surrounding this news cycle. Those numbers are phenomenal, Kitsy. They really are quite mind-boggling when you think about just how much uh, this is generating. The American press too does seem to be a lot more willing to speculate about conspiracy theories than the press in the UK. They're obviously abiding by a different set of rules. Murder. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm being asked about murder. I'm being asked about cheating. I'm being asked about body doubles. Um, I'm actually really disappointed in the uh, tone that the American media has taken because it does feel like instead of the press you know, dictating the direction, um, which is what is supposed to happen because journalists are supposed to do their research and then they give us the information we need. Uh, of course, we need to do our own research, but um, it does feel like social media, you know, kind of that gutter gossip is dictating what's rolling into the mainstream media here, which I find really disappointing as somebody that has covered the British royal family uh, for several years. I, I respect them more than to have to comment on a lot of these conspiracy theories. Well, after the discovery of that doctored uh, photo of Kate with her children, we were just showing our viewers it uh, a bit earlier, it seems that news outlets now are going through the archives and examining other pictures. Are they turning up many other photos that have also been tampered with or, or edited? I've seen two so far. One is Queen Elizabeth II uh, in a photo with all of her grandchildren, uh, where there are a couple of little errors. I believe it's Getty Images that is that have come out and said, we believe this video, photo has also been altered. Additionally, I believe it's Archie's christening, um, where you see both Meghan, Harry, the baby, uh, Meghan's mother, and, and the Princess of Wales uh, sitting to the side. They've said that that photo is questionable as well. Um, and that it was not taken by the Princess of Wales. So the picture with um, the Queen was, but the picture of Ar Archie's christening was not. So they are going over old photos with a fine tooth comb. Uh, will they probably do a lot less Photoshop in the future? I do believe they've learned their lesson. <laughs>